Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing how I make this basket wave design. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe. God bless you. To start, I have my pattern drafts already. This is a bustier pattern. We have different ways on achieving our bustier, right? And this is just one way that you can use to draft your bustier. I have my bust my under bust my waist and my that my side that intake and for my guideline here to where my yoke stop i have it in six inches then i come down one inch to cut out my excesses at the ammo area then I connect a new armhole then I extend this place by the one inch that I come down you should know how to do this already then I have my neckline here as 3.3 quarter then this is my yoke I'm going to cut out this pattern now and focus on the yoke area in order to achieve my basket design neckline this is the back pattern that I've also drafted to the difference between the front and the back is this two inches for the side that intake at the front region right then my my back has zip allowance and i've also eliminated my zip body i use one inches to eliminate it right so this is all about the pattern i'm going to use for this design so i'm going to cut out this pattern now and focus on the yoke since that is what we are focusing on on this tutorial so here is the yoke i've already cut it out you can see how i cut it i just followed the line that i cut from the line straight from here to this place to follow the ammo curve then cut it out this pattern does not have seam allowance yet when i'm going to cut it on my my material i'm going to add size seam allowance add damper joint seam allowance and also to join it at uh, this um that um but still i'm going to add also my seam allowance then on this yoke i'm going to add seam allowance for the shoulder to join my shoulder to the back parts i'm going i'm also going to add seam allowance at this ammo to join my sleeve and also half a niche seam allowance to join the yoke back and i'm also going to add seam allowance at this neckline so this is what i'm going to use now so i'm going to do that and come back and show you so this is the yoke right and i will advise that you use a thick brown paper so that when you want to sew the basket um, design you will not have it um ruffle right it will not be it will be easy for you to to sew on it and it will still stay still until you finish sewing all your design right and also use the one that is not too hard so that you can able to um you can able to tear it off at the time you finish designing the baskets um design right so here i have a thick um brown paper thicker than the first one that i used to draft my my pattern right so i placed it on this this new brown paper then i add all the necessary seam allowance at the neckline i add half an inch at the shoulder i add half an inch also at the armhole i add half an inch and at the damper to join it back to the blouse i add half an inch as well then this place the way i placed it i placed in a way that this brown paper the one i just the new one that i placed it on this side is folded because this is my center so this place will be folded so when i open it up by the time i finish cutting it now and then i open it up i have it on both sides so in that way i will be able to now shape out my design so here is it i've already cut it out so i'm going to remove this remove this and here i have my yoke and all the size seam all the necessary seam allowance that i needed to be, to add to the pattern right so by the time i remove these pins now i will have it on both sides 
so this is how it's going to be so this is my yoke so uh, this is where i'm going to put the design on so I this is my yoke pattern you can go ahead to mark your guideline how you want the the basket design to be i will be using half an inch for mine so i'll be measuring half an inch from here like this and i'll continue the half an inch this way then that's how i'm going to mark it then i'll come back and then measure again this way so the, i will first start with this so this is i'm going to mark it. you could look at it here i was trying to mark some lines here so you can go ahead to mark how you want yours to be some people go with one inch depend on how you want the basket design to come out how you how wide or how small you want it to be and depend on how you want um how you sew the place to your material on it right so you can go ahead to measure whichever way you want it so uh, as i said earlier i'm going to be making use of half an inch so i'm going to mark half an inch this way then the next thing to do is to cut out your fabric right so you can cut as many as you can so here i have the width i've cut my hair and i have the width of one and a half inches then you can cut as many as you can the length does not really matter you just have to place it this way and know how you want it to how long some of them would be some will be very short like example the one you start here with very short so then i've gone ahead to also fold them the way i want it to be so i want them half inch fold right so i will just place it this way right and so on it i'll measure half an inch from here right measure half an inch on this place for starting from this edge here then i'll place this on it right i'll place this on it like this then so on both sides I'll so I'll stitch here. I will still stitch on both sides so that it can be firm. So how I fold my, I just get the the my fabric this way. Fold it into two, right? I'll fold it into two like this. So I fold it into two like this. You can see how I fold it. Then then I refold it again, small in a way that I will have half an inch. So fold it into two like this. You'll be having you know I cut one and a half inches so when you fold it into two the one and a half inch you will have 75 an inch right uh, 75 an inch so you fold it that seven that quarter so you'll be having half an inch so you fold it a, again like this quarter just small like this right when you turn it to this other side you'll be having half an inch right you can see how it is then you pin it so this is this is what I did here. You can see it here. I fold it into two the way I fold this now into two, right? Then I refold the quarter inside. This is it here. You can see how small it is. So I fold it inside. So when you place it down like this, you measure what you have. You'll be having half an inch. So here is it. Yeah, I have half an inch. So that's what I'm going to use. So I will just place place it here like this. Then I will sew here. I will also sew here. So that's how I'm going to continue my sewing, right? I will place it like this. Place it like this. So I'm going to continue the sewing like that. So let's go to the sewing table. All right. So this is it. I have also start. I've already started this first first one and the second one. You can see my stitching on it already. So I just measure the half an inch right here is the half an inch i measure here half an inch then i started placing this and you know my fabric here is half an inch then after this half an inch i measure another half an inch so you just continue it that way half an inch for the fabric half an inch space right half an inch from the fabric half an inch space so that's how i did all through here so when i got out so i pin it i use my pin please pin it down or you just make all your strap, the, all your lines, all your guidelines. Just follow ahead. Just mark it all through. So in that way, it will be easy for you to to sew, right? So just measure. So I place this half an inch. Now you can see it. After this fabric, now half an inch. Then I will place another one here. Then after that again, I will give another half an inch to place my fabric here. Then after that, I will measure another half an inch. So that's how I will continue to sew. So I will just place it on my sewing machine like this right 
so i'll place it on my sewing machine like this drop it down so i'll start the sewing from here like this right so make sure that your sewing is very neat so just for just so straight right so i've already sewn this other side now you can see how it is so i finished sewing this side so i want to go ahead now to continue this side so i'm going to continue my fabric so i'm going to be placing it like this placing it like this so i'll also continue the same way i did this one like this now i'll continue this one and this way so that's i'm going to do it to the end as well so when i finish sewing this now i'll come back to show you so i've already placed um the fabric on the pin then down so you can see it i've been it starting from here to here to here to here to here to here see how i placed it so i've also pinned all these ones so here i've already stitched it down you can see how beautiful it is i've sewn all the new lines that i've arranged so this is it now i've already sewn it so you can see the new line here i've sewn all of them right so the next thing to do now i cut a a long fabric right about um i have here about one and a half inches long right so i'm going to use this now to turn the neck so i will turn it to the wrong side turn it to the wrong side then place this i place it the right side facing down right the right side of my fabric facing down then i'll place this on it like this then i will sew it remember we added half an inch for the neckline right so i'm going to use the half an inch and i'm going to sew it half an inch to turn the neck so here i'll finish sewing it so you can see that i've sewn it using the half an inch seam allowance that we added earlier so this is it now so i finished sewing it so what i'm going to do now i'll turn it to this side then i'm going to trim it i'm going to trim this place in a way that i will be having quarter of an inch right i'm going to trim it then the quarter of an inch that is remaining i'm going to peel off this just the neck area that i sew that's the only place i'm going to peel off this uh, uh, brown paper that i use on it i'm going to peel it off right so i'm going to do that now so i've trimmed it now and i'm having about quarter of an inch here so i've trimmed it so what i'm going to do now this tiny um this place that has the stitch on it the tiny brown paper that is showing there i will peel it off too so the next thing to do is to turn this now to the right side right so i'm going to fold it like this and fold it like this then turn it to the right side so in a way that i will be having half an inch that the same way i have with the rest the rest ones so i'm going to turn it in a way that i will be having half an inch then i will stitch on it like this i will stitch on it like this all around i'll turn it this way like this then fold it inside tiny i fold it inside like this then in a way that i'll be having half an inch all around so here is it now i've already finished sewing it you can see how i finished sewing the neck so i've sewn it now and i'm having half an inch too so this now is the same way with all this one that i've sewn here so the next thing to do now is to peel off this so i'm going to peel this off now and i'm going to go ahead now and peel it so you can see that i've started peeling some here so i'm going to do the same thing to all these other ones so i'm going to peel it now and i'm going to make sure that i peel it small in a way that it does not affect my stitch right so remove all this now so i'm going to peel it off now so when i finish peeling it then i will now add it to the upper part of my or add it to my blouse right my bust here that i cut earlier so i'm going to add it to it now fix this damn part so here is it guys i've already sewn into my bustier pattern here the panels and here is my bustier i can see how smooth it is how beautiful it is so i've sewn it here is the wrong side and see how beautiful i use my fabric to turn the easy to turn the pattern right 
you can see how beautiful it is so right here is the final look of it so i'm going to join it join the back part to it now and join it to the damp part